what's going on YouTube world. So being that I'm on my third master cylinder, um, I think it's just happened to be shitty Chinese products that before, you know, uh, lack of quality parts. I had some parts stores, so now I got myself a quality ATE one, which is basically the original brand. Um, I thought I'd make this little video because I had some confusion myself when I'm ordering master cylinders for this. So this car is actually a Audi S4, the B8, it's a 2012. Very similar job for the B8.5. However, there are two types of master cylinders. So you have the ATE, which is this one, and you have the Girling one. Now, the only way to really know which one you have um, is actually by physically looking at it right here. And this is why I wanted to make this little video. There's a little marking of ATE. It's hard to see in this video. Um, here's another one. Of, this is actually an aftermarket one. It doesn't show it, so you're not going to know if it has. The other indication that it's ATE is these indents here. That's going to have an indent, whereas the Girling one doesn't have those indents. It's very sickly flush. Um, I do have the original version. This is the Audi one. And you can see right there, it says ATE on it, which is the brand ATE. Okay, so this is an actual ATE unit that I've put into the car. Um, I still had my original one. Given you the part number from ATE, here it is. That's directly on the box. And then the actual Audi part is this here. So this is for the master cylinder for the ATE. The Girling one, I had actually ordered a Girling one because I think it was... Uh, I think I got it from FCP or ECS, something like that originally, because I didn't have a local stock. And I ended up getting a Girling one. Um, entered in my year, everything. It said that that's what I needed. I got it. Went to fit it. It wouldn't fit because the holes, I believe, here and the actual uh, size of the spout that goes inside the brake, um, the uh, booster, is different. It's a different size, so it won't fit. Um, so you're going to have to, no matter what, get the ATE one if you have an ATE one or a Girling one if you have a Girling um, booster set up for it, or you have to change the booster. I know some people try and do a swap for an RS5 and such. I didn't go down that road. Um, I do have the McCann fronts on it. I use these masters and I'm perfectly fine. So just thought I'd put this out there for information to be clear.